and I'm not dead. <laughs> wow. Does he suck that much that, like, becoming a baddie doesn't kill him? But man, he's alive. And so is his son. Ash, get her out of it's my okay. face. Mars didn't do it, for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Hey, what are you doing? Kick his ass. Run. Run, bitch, run. Oh, wrong button. Fuck. Go, go, go. Ah. Yeah. No. Oh, God. Don't hit him. Yeah. Dodge. Dodge. Dip, dive, dodge. Learn to ride a motor motorbike, Madison. Holy crap. What do we do? Wow. Attention all personnel. Hold your fire. I repeat. Hold your fire. Damn right, you're gonna let her go. Madison? What's going on? The cops. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. Look. We'll all go out together. With, with our hands in the air and... They can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence, Ethan. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. We saved him, but... Now for our battle with Shelby. Oh god! Where the fuck did that shovel come from? Yeah! We're stronger. We're stronger than the fat man. We're gonna beat Jared before Subway. If he was after Subway, maybe not. Don't let him get away. Don't let him fucking get away. There you go. Knock him off. Knock him off. Save me. Don't you fucking dare. Um. Don't you dare help him. I hope you burn in hell, Scott Shelby. I hope you fucking burn in hell. This is just like a GT's episode of Mad World. Right through the grinder. Shit. It's over. Don't shoot him. Do not shoot him, Carter Blake. Almost said Rob Blake, hockey player. Don't shoot him. Everything's okay now. Shelby's dead. We've caught the killer. We've got the proof. Sean's alive. All that's left is the credits and oh, cool, four heroes. The police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive. More than oh, it's because they all solved the killer. Found him. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible oh my God, by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the origami killer. The but so they're going to have to turn the other way of um, him today. killing people for them Our trying to kill him. Today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby uh, that's one pissed off face. is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Good, he's dead in a meat grinder. Good luck finding any traces of him. Oh wow, it's Madison's apartment. One of those, like, flats. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Wow, he's wearing good clothes and has a stylish stubble going on. 
along with Madison. Hey, and his Dad. kid's running around like he's got Dad, Down syndrome. Up my room. Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've I earned the so. right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. And Grace can die in it, burn in hell, cause she's a bitch. That's right. I fucking hate her. I'm glad she's not mentioned anymore. <laughs> Our guest today the hell? is on the cover of today's World Magazine this week. And has been hailed by the whole nation as the a fuck new is this? hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Oh wow! I never got this before. Looks like Jaden got the ending he deserved. He caught the origami killer. Maybe now he won't need fucking Tripto no more. Don't... That's right. Flush it down the toilet. You do not need it anymore, Jaden. Right down the toilet. Flush it. Flush it. Get rid of it. That's right. We don't need it. We don't need it. What the hell is this? What's with all these cutscenes? I've never seen any of these before. Oh, this is Blake, back at work. Huh. In my ending, he quit. He still looks weird, like, when, from not his own perspective. Haha, <laughs> little toy tank. Wait, what the hell? The fuck was that? Oh my god! What the hell? We're seriously tripping balls! I guess that's why we don't overindulge in the stuff, like, Jesus. Freaking Ari World was becoming a reality. And I think this is the graveyard. Lauren Winter. I've never seen this scene before with her actually alive. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? That's why I hated that kissing. It's fucking Don't disgusting. Know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. You're right, Lauren. Nothing can. Although you still look like an ugly hooker. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. That's why right, I spit on his motherfucking grave. I would have took a piss on it and danced on it. Hell, I would have just took the gravestone off. No one needs to see his fucking dead body. Get rot in the ground. 